How is it or what is it? What What is the focus right now for you guys heading into Oklahoma? Trying to win a game. And it's just the focus is on winning the day, really. I mean, we wanted to have a great practice today. We wanted to get the morale up, you know, which we didn't know how. You never know how kids are going to be when they come here. So morale was good. We had a good day. And it was, um, you know, trying to, you know, day one down, day two coming up. So just winning the day, basically. One of the things Dana mentioned earlier today was uh, the run game's been tough, obviously, and it's, it's not been, I guess, what you guys have wanted it to be. How much does that affect what you guys are doing offensively, and how much does that, does that limit you guys? Well, I mean, anytime you become one-dimensional, regardless of what, whichever one it is, if you can't throw it and you can only run it, you know, defenses, their, their goal is to make offenses one-dimensional. They feel like if they get you one-dimensional, then they got you where they want you. So, yeah, I mean, running the ball is, is important. You know, I mean, throwing the ball is a lot easier when you have an effective running game, and that's just simple. And windows are wider, safeties bite down harder. But it's not like we didn't have some open guys running down the field, you know. So, I mean, when we get those opportunities, we've got to take advantage of it, too. You feel like you're one-dimensional right now? Um, at times, you know, at times I would say yeah, but at times no. I mean, um, there were times, you know, that they respected the run game and we play action and had wide open people. And so, um, with that being said, at least, you know, they're, they're keying on it. And so, you know, there's times we get 8, 10 yards of carry, 12 yards of carry. And so I wouldn't say that the run game, I mean, put it this way, I've been, I've been in situations before where the run game's been worse. And so uh, right now, I mean, we just gotta, we just gotta keep doing what we're doing. It's not like we're gonna create new plays or do new things. I mean, we just gotta, we gotta get more out of what we're getting. With a couple of receivers leaving the program and Stedman not at 100%, is depth a concern at wide receiver now? It was probably a concern before people left, and so it's always a concern. I don't know if anybody's got the depth they really want. And so um, Stedman's probably, you know, closer to 100% than he's been. And so, you know, I, depth's no different. You know, I mean, it's, I, mean we're, I, I coach the guys that are out there, and so it's not like the guys that aren't out there were doing anything spectacular. How about the guys that are getting mixed in now, the guys who saw more playing time last week? What have you seen out of them? And, and Dana's talked about the want, them wanting to be out there and playing and wanting to win. Can That's you... the biggest thing I've seen, really and truly. I mean, you know, those guys um, those guys that are focused on now, they, I mean, they want to be, they want to play hard and they want to be out there. And so that's, that's the guys that you want to coach. Is this defense the biggest challenge you face so far? This year in my life. <laughs> this year? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, they it presents a little different challenge based on what they do coverage-wise. I mean, uh, they're 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 not complicated defensively. They're man probably. Yeah, right? cat coverage. I got that cat. You got that cat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but no. I mean, it's you know they're good. They're athletic, and so you know when when people play man, it comes down to matchups, and we have to throw and catch. And and you know, and Oklahoma's been good this year on defense, like they've been in the past, and so. You know, teams that have been successful on them have been, I mean, it's not going to be easy, put it that way. It's not going to be a lot of wide open guys. I mean, you got to make plays with guys around you. And um, luckily enough, last week we had some guys running wide open and we didn't make it. So maybe we need to get defenders closer to us than we can execute. <laughs> you say that about cat coverage and, you know, that they're going to they're man up against you. Would you rather see that at this point because of the success that teams that have zoned you have had of late? Well, I mean, uh, I, it, it really doesn't matter. I mean, it just presents a little different challenge. And um, I mean, we're, and to be honest with you, I mean, if, you know, the last two weeks, in my opinion, has been really close to being really good. But for some reason or not, we're just a little off. And so, um, you know, you get, if you, if you hit those two, if you hit the two wide open routes last week, then you have a pretty successful day. And so, I mean, it's all relative. I mean, you can sit there and break it down whichever way you want it. And so um, the bottom line is, is that when you have an opportunity to make a play, you got to make it. And right now, we're not making those plays. And so, I mean, the worst thing you can do is sit there and, and keep pointing that out because if you keep pointing that out, then you're going to play up tight, you know. And so the best thing to do at times when things aren't going your way and, and, and the ball isn't rolling your way is kind of ignore it and just let karma work itself back to you.